what's up guys, Mid City here yet again with another video, and today we are going to be showing you Fortcraft. So um, there's a lot of hype around the Fortnite mobile uh, game that's going to be coming out. Soon we'll be getting codes later on this week, but I know a lot of people are impatient, as am I, and we don't even know if we're going to get a code. And so that's why I ventured into Fortcraft. This is a shameless ripoff of Fortnite. Um, and it's made by NetEase, which is the company that made um, Survivor Royale, um, uh, among other uh, PUBG ripoffs on the App Store before PUBG Mobile has been brought to uh, America. So this is a good alternative for... Uh, I think this actually does have a place. Yes, it's a shameless, shameless ripoff. And Fortnite is way better, in my opinion, just because it is Fortnite. There's a reason why there's so much hype about the game. It's incredible. But uh, it does require high-end devices, iOS 11 and on. And people without those newer devices, this is a great option for you. It's a lot more accessible. It, it, the, the requirements are a lot um, less demanding. So this is a good option for you. I know on Android, it's, you can go download it right now. iOS, I think they just filled up uh, with applications, so you might have to wait on that one. But I'm just showing you guys some gameplay of it right now. This is my second game. I won my first, but it was like pretty ugly. It was a pretty ugly win. I got some kills and stuff, but I was just figuring out the controls. And I'm still figuring them out right now. I don't know the best way to organize them. But the controls feel pretty dang good. This game has surprised me. For ripoff, I, I am extremely um, surprised by it. Um, I think it gives you a really good idea of how... Uh, Fortnite mobile will be at least controls wise and how it'll feel on a touch screen and, and stuff like that so um, those of you who are really impatient like I am like I was saying before this is an option for you to go check out especially if you're on Android and you guys are gonna have to wait longer for um, it to come out on your platform so uh, my thoughts on uh, uh, Fortcraft I always call it Fortnite sometimes um, it, it's, it's so similar that I think, I don't know, I don't know how legal it is, but it's a lot of fun, and there's chests, everything's destructible, um, there's, there's even bush items to change you into a bush, um, inventory management is very quick and easy and slick, um, there's a lot of control options, um, the, the building can be a little bit wonky, but it's surprisingly good. Um, as you can see, I sped up some of the, the fluff in between because this game wasn't super action-packed, but there are some highlights in it. So I'm going to be speeding up um, just the traveling bits and stuff, and I'll still leave the boring looting and stuff just so you can check out how it is. But um, I've been having a surprising amount of fun with this. It'll definitely tide me over till Fortnite Mobile. Um, I will definitely be streaming it, so if you guys want to go check that out, it's at mobcrush.com slash mintcity. And cross our fingers that soon I will have Fortnite, and I'll be streaming and making content for that as well on mobile. But uh, it, as you can see, when you're swinging uh, your pickaxe or a sledgehammer, as it is in uh, Fort, uh, Fortcraft, it, it doesn't have that little blue circle that will move around, and if you hit the blue circle, it'll des uh, destroy whatever you're whacking faster and give you more resources. They don't have that, so that was kind of unfortunate. I do like the blue circle. gives you something to do instead of just aimlessly whacking and stuff. What I did notice with Fortcraft is that they do have a, a couple more weapons. Um, they are different. Not all of them are complete reskins. Um, they obviously have the pump shoddy. I haven't seen a tactical shotgun, but I'm sure there is one. Um, they have all the snipers that you used to, but they do have some different auto rifles and they have like an Uzi. I don't know if that's just their version of the submachine gun. I don't know, but they do look visually different. There's the burst rifle that you that I just picked up. Um, and the burst rifle is pretty deadly in this game. Honestly, I think they need to nerf it a little bit because it's not much different from the fully automatic. Um, there is bullet drop with sniping as you're going to see in the future, not to spoil anything. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a hundred players, uh, just like in Fortnite, which is nice. I, I'm glad that they didn't make any, um, any. I don't know. I, I'm glad they didn't dumb down the player count just to have it on mobile. But I'm surprised at how fast they got this ripoff made for Fortnite. Maybe they were working on it before. I don't know. Um, it's it's a surprising how it's they had the signups on the same exact day as Fortnite Mobile. 
so it's i don't know if they've been working on this at the same amount of time or whatever but it's surprisingly good i was actually expecting it to just be a a shameless ripoff that's just a hollow iteration of actual fortnite but it, the complete experience is here i'm shocked but obviously i mean i'd rather have uh, cross-platform play with Fortnite and have that full Fortnite experience that I've come to know and love and get addicted to. Um, but as you can see from, from the gameplay so far, I am a little bit slow at looting and stuff. I'm still trying to get used to the controls. Um, the only problem is you can't move around the map. I kind of understand why you can't, but I'm a claw player. I highly suggest anyone who's playing with, um, uh, playing shooters on touch screens, um, you definitely need to learn claw because it'll give you a ginormous advantage over other people. Um, it's, it, however, there are two fire buttons, so even if you don't learn learn claw, the biggest problem is you see that fire button right there. If anyone's played a shooter, you know that it's kind of a pain to aim and hit the fire button at the same time, especially if you're sniping or with using single shot weapons. And so it's really hard to aim and shoot at the same time. But they do have a shoot button on the left side, which I moved up farther to kind of use the claw technique. Um, so you can hit the fire button on the left side. You won't be able to move if you're just using your thumbs. But you can at least fire and move and aim at the same time. So I thought that was a pretty slick um, addition. I know that they did that with um, Survival Royale as well. But I think this is way more fun than Survival Royale. Um, Fortnite has all, like Fortnite's type of game, like a building battle royale game, has always appealed to me more than um, like uh, PUBG. Uh, and, and games of that nature because there's just so much more strategy with the building mechanics um, The one bushes are a little bit OP. You can barely see anyone. I, I was testing it out I was like looking at from every angle and you can't see anyone in bushes. So I think they need to nerf that a little bit um, But what was I gonna say the only problem I see is that I don't like that There's an automatic you're gonna about to see me use it. I finally realized it in my second game I didn't notice it at all in the first game but there is an automatic building button that will build you a 4x4 four four with a ramp. So a tiny little base right off the bat, instantly. I tried to no scope him right there just to test out and see if it's possible from that range. But there you go, I just used it. It's an automatic 4x4 four four structure that you can pop out instantly, which I don't really like. That was a nice snipe, by the way. I thought it was pretty good. But um, I don't like that. Um, I think it's just too easy to do that when you're getting shot at. I feel like building should be a skill that you acquire and consistently work at. I think that's what makes Fortnite so great is that building such a big part of the game and it really does affect your success with the game. Um, I should have had this guy. I should have had it. I should have uh, accounted for the bullet drop. That was a really far snipe. And then I hit the button on accident. I wasn't trying to no scope that time. But uh, yeah, I don't like that automatic 4x4 building. I mean, it is convenient, and I see why they put it in there, so that people don't get too frustrated with the building controls. But I feel like the building controls are decent enough to where they don't need to have that in the game. And as you can see, the, the, the burst rifle is pretty nuts. It's pretty nutty. So that's what I think they should take out. I don't think they should uh, try to make it super accessible for the casual player. I think that's where a lot of the fun comes with, from Fortnite. Um, is that you learn to build and you con consistently get better and then you learn ways to strategize and stuff. But if you can automatically plop down a 4x4 four four, uh, fort um, and just with a tap of a button, it's going to be very hard to actually surprise someone who knows what they're doing because uh, they could just pop that out of nowhere and continue to build. I think you can actually, I didn't realize this yet, I'm going to be building it up slowly one panel at a time but i think you can actually repeatedly hit the four by four and you can stack it on top of each other and make a huge um tower which is even more broken in my opinion so you can instantly just tower yourself straight up um because i i don't know building's a big part of the game like i've been saying uh you need to get good at that i think it should be a learning process it should be something that you consistently get better at a growing process and it'll be more rewarding with this it's not rewarding uh just instantly building structures that you didn't have to do or use any skill to to do if that makes sense but i didn't really run into too many people every person i ran into in th in this game i um killed though not to spoil too much yet again but uh another thing un just like survivor royale which is NetEase's other game is that any gunfire or any footsteps shows up on your radar on your compass so you know exactly where they're coming from um, that guy was completely clueless. 
um, and that's how I noticed that guy because um, the sound, the surround sound, yes, it'll tell you if a shot's coming from your your left or right ear kind of thing. Um, but you have to rely on that compass too much, in my opinion. Um, I shouldn't know exactly where someone's at, literally to the degree on the compass. I don't like that. I didn't like that with Sur Survivor Royale either. I think it's too much of a crutch, and it makes things a little bit too easy. Um, and that, that same problem is apparent here. I mean, I didn't expect the footsteps to be visible in this game, too. But unfortunately, is. So those are just a couple of my minor gripes. But just remember, the base game is really good like the base concepts and mechanics are really good and just to let you guys know uh, a song is playing right now because my audio cut off because of that notification while i was screen recording which is kind of unfortunate um but you guys heard all the sound effects you guys heard all the noises and um the sound design of the game and it is decent enough um they're definitely going for that cartoon goofy look just like Fortnite. Obviously, Fortnite has way more character and more, I think it's more stylized. Um, but I mean, this, this game does have a personality of its own. Um, a fun fact is that with your building panels, which I think this would be a cool thing to do in Fortnite, but I don't think they'll ever do it. With your building panel panels, you can actually customize them with graffiti, as they call it. And so it'll have like your own stamp or your own look for your panels. Um, I think it'll probably be a stamp. I haven't looked too much into the customization, but I saw the option was there. So that would be pretty cool to put your own little spin on your building materials. I think that's genius. I think Fortnite probably will add that, but I don't think they'll make it dr look drastically uh, different um, from other panels. Because if they made different, you have to still be able to tell what type of material it is from a distance or just at a glance. Because that's part of the, part of the strategy. Like you know how to approach someone's structure, which is pretty cool. But we're nearing to the end of the game. Uh, this is about to I'm about to show you one of the problems with the building so I'm building I'm building up and panels don't appear very fast and right there I fell down because I couldn't tell that it wasn't building in that spot because I was tapping and I couldn't tell that it built but suddenly it's there so there are a couple glitches I started building up farther because I thought there was a gap but there wasn't but there are uh, like you'll have little hiccups with building just like in Fortnite but they're a little bit more apparent here but don't think that they're happening all the time. It's still a rare occurrence, but they happen more than in Fortnite. Fortnite's building system has been pretty polished to a T. There's very few times where you, where you will get screwed by like a glitch or something that happens um, randomly with it. But so now it's just me down to the final two guys. I actually wasn't paying attention. I didn't know he was the final guy. So I was kind of playing a little bit aggressively here. Um, I was just testing out the rocket launcher, wanting to get some gameplay with everything. I hadn't tested that out. I didn't notice that I destroyed his whole tower in in two shots. And as you can see, he used that automatic building to build him all the way up. But I had not figured that out yet. I was like, wait, did I take out his tower or not? So he's still launching rockets. I'm just using what's left of my little uh, two panels right here. And I decided to start building up a ramp. And then I, I backtracked to make him think that I'm at the top of the ramp still, hopefully. And I switched to my, um, my sniper, and I was like, well, this is the only way I'm going to be able to tag this guy. I was super patient with this shot. I probably could have taken that first shot when he popped up and had him. But he's hopping right there. Take the shot. Boom. And a kill for the win. I was so shocked when I won. I had no idea. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, definitely check out Fortcraft. It, I definitely suggest it. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this video. I really appreciate it. Check out the plugs before and after the video. That means a lot to me. It helps me keep motivated with creating content for your guys, you guys. But anyways, thanks for watching yet again, and take it easy.